Protests across the nation continued today. Chicago, only 66 miles away from Kenosha, saw peaceful crowds marching, chanting, and holding signs. And here in Minneapolis, crowds also remained peaceful. They gathered at the Hennepin County Government Center and marched through downtown streets. As David Schumann reports, the group was disappointed by the verdict, but not surprised. All power to the people! Trayon Cruz with Black Lives Matter Minnesota suspected Kyle Rittenhouse might be acquitted. Be the jury, find the defendant not guilty. Once the misdemeanor gun possession charge was thrown out. Much of the trial, Trayon felt the judge favored Rittenhouse. Just knowing that black kids here in Minnesota never get treated like that. Protesters Saturday at a Minneapolis rally. No justice! Cried for justice for Rittenhouse's victims. I wouldn't give a damn what color they were. They deserve to be here. And simultaneously called for the abolition of white supremacy, which they feel was on display with the Rittenhouse verdict. And it's about race, and it's about you getting uncomfortable, and it's about us making this better. The protesters here also see the Rittenhouse verdict as emblematic of a larger problem. One of the speakers talked about how she felt the legal system is rigged against people of color. The difference in incarceration rates between black people and white people in the U.S. was pointed out during the protest. We just want equal protection under the law and in the courts. More than one speaker also encouraged black people in the crowd to get permits to carry a firearm. We can't just hope our words and our chants protect us. I've received a lot of death threats from since 2015 or 16 from people all across the country. So don't want to conceal and carry, but we're getting to a point where it's very important that black people have to protect themselves. In Minneapolis, David Schumann, WCCO 4 News. Some protesters express that they're disillusioned with politicians in both parties, including President Joe Biden. They urge people today to pay attention to local elections and vote for candidates who represent their beliefs.